drumbeats, cheers, and tears. The sound of victory for the Standing Rock Sioux and thousands of others gathered to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. This mass of humanity living off the grid, joined by thousands of military veterans, helped exert so much political and legal pressure, it effectively forced the pipeline to be rerouted. People have uh, said that now this is uh, either we make it or break it, and uh, I guess uh, we made it. The pipeline was almost to the river when it was halted by the Army Corps of Engineers so they could take another look at its path. Sunday, they decided it was a no-go. For months, the Sioux Nation had been demanding the project be scrapped. They were convinced the pipeline carrying crude oil underneath the Missouri River would one day leak, poisoning the drinking water of millions downriver. This is too much of a risk to the drinking water, to the thousands of people of the Standing Rock Sioux Nation. Too much of a risk for the, the sacred sites all along that route in this area and too much a risk for us as a planet. The pipeline's planned route did not go through Indian reservation land, but the tribe argued the water is part of treaty land and therefore they too must agree on its path. So you were offered $5 million and some land by both the landowners and the Dakota Access Pipeline. Yes. And your response to that was? We don't want the land, we don't want money. Instead, they wanted to protect the water. <laughs> As the spiritual leader of this camp, Lee Plenty Wolf has been praying for divine intervention. He says his people foretold of a dangerous force that would lead to ruin. What are the prophecies? Well, ours is uh, uh, the black snake, which is uh, the pipelines, the oil, the, 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 the blood of Uchimaka, Grandmother Earth, and they're sucking that all out. It's self-destruction, a fast road to self-destruction. North Dakota's governor says the pipeline was 95% complete. The company was waiting on that final permit. It's not getting it. It seemed to be a blessing to the Standing Rock Sioux. What we see has never been seen before in the, in the, in the written history of our people. We have never known a time when non-Native American allies from around the country, around the world, have come here in the dead of winter to stand with us, to stand together, to call for a new day. But then, Energy Partners responded, saying this is simply a political move by the Obama administration that won't stop the pipeline from going under the river. They contend the latest decision changes nothing. They have every legal right to continue. And with that, the celebrations could be short-lived. As far as, you know, into the future, there's no guarantee that this is going to stand. If, the, if President elect Trump could override what just happened today on January 20th and grant that easement, then we're in for a world of hurt. Nothing has changed for us.